see this answer here. This is why I bought the globe for so long, okay? We're not only spinning a thousand miles per hour, which the spin wouldn't even matter if the satellites are in space. It would be the shooting through space and the orbiting that matters, which we're orbiting the sun at 66,000 66, miles per hour. They changed it to 67, but it used to say 66. And we are shooting through space somewhere between 500, 50,000 and 666,000 miles per hour. Like, that is a lot of movement. I was under the impression growing up that the sun stood still. The sun was just still. We were orbiting it. And, like, we were spinning because of the, the day and night. But we're not. We're moving three different speeds. We're moving three different speeds. I... I don't know. Do people forget that? Like that we're not only moving a thousand miles per hour or do they just like never even think about it like I did. I never used to think about it, but we move a lot. When I was a heliosexual, I thought this is what was happening. I thought the sun was stationary and the planets were going around it and we were just chilling out in space, just sitting there moving around a stationary sun. But no, if you're a heliosexual, you believe this. You believe the sun is shooting through space for millions and millions of miles, just nonstop. Everything's following it. Everything's spinning around it, but you never hit anything. Haley's Comet catches back up. You see the same stars all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> they lost me with this one. They should have just left the sun stationary because once I realized this, is what the globe model is you lost me done no i will never believe that <laughs> nope sorry game over theories that suggest that it could be because of the melting of the glaciers which means i knew they were gonna blame that shit on global warming and climate change seriously the sun is closer than what they told Everyone's saying this looks so real. It looks just as fake as fake space really is. The James Webb Telescope is orbiting around Earth in L2. In this position, as Earth moves around the star, James Webb Telescope will follow the planet almost in lockstep. Like a constant companion, always in the same location in relation to our planet. You know, as it moves and spins and orbits and shoots through freaking space or not. Hey Starman, it's cool to see that you made it back from space in your Tesla, but I'm aware that they are not on earth, that they are not on the spinning globe but they are spinning with the solar system apparently so i don't know why people keep saying this they're still moving with us they're not just sitting still in space where we launch them and then we catch back up to them or some shit like they're still moving with us so they're still with us in the same place in same place in space taking the photo of the same place in space that was taken at a completely different month so I don't understand why this is the first thing people go to. But it's not on the planet. Well, no shit, Sherlock's, but it's still moving with us. Like, come the fuck on now. The James Webb Telescope 
is a constant companion to Earth in the same location in relation to our planet. So it is moving the same place that our planet moves to. So I don't understand why it would matter if it's on Earth or off of Earth, if, if it's still moving with Earth through space. It doesn't matter if it's on it or around it. It's still moving the same places in space that Earth is moving. Like, so while the James Webb is in lockstep, this bitch is orbiting around us 15 orbits a day. That's, what is it? Like one every 95 minutes. It orbits us every 95 minutes. <clears throat> the Hubble is coming around every 95 minutes while the other one is out in lockstep with us. So... To me, that makes it even less possible that they're able to get the same exact photo, like the same angle. They would almost need to be in the same location to get the same photo, but they're not. They're in completely different orbits getting the same photos. Completely different orbits getting the same photos or images. They're fucking images. They're not photos, but for all the NASA eaters out there, the photos that they take, their images, but that's besides the point. They could not get the same ones. Here is a comparison between the Hubble and the James Webb's photo of the same location. The James Webb image was released July 12th, 2022, but the Hubble took the same photo and it was released in October of 2008. Now, here is where my issue lies. How are they able to take a photo from the same angle and get the same shot months apart? Yeah, they're years apart, but if we're going off of every year, the stars and whatnot are in the same spot, we're in the same spot. Okay, yearly. How are they able to do it months apart? They should have had to take this photo also in October in order to be able to get the same exact layout. It would be a different angle. We wouldn't be seeing it. How are we able to see the same stuff if we're shooting through space? And don't tell me it's because it's so large. That is irrational and completely, it just, it just doesn't make sense. So the North Star doesn't move, but all the other stars move and this stuff stays in the same place. Now, I'm just not buying it anymore. I'm not buying it. I don't care if you buy it. I am not buying it. They are just photographing the frequencies above and trying to play it off. Like they're photographing all these fucking things in space that we can sometime maybe go to uh, and go live on because there's all these other galaxies and all these other life forms out there and oh my gosh. No, I think those are just frequencies in the ether or the energy or something above maybe there is water past it i don't know because i've never went through it but to me it's more than likely just solo luminescence and things along that nature that we may not even have discovered yet so i'm not buying it i'm not buying that they can take the same photo years and months apart and it, it looked the same, like the same angle. No difference. No, I don't buy it. The James Webb Telescope has released all kinds of new images and I am so excited to shoot it the fuck down. I don't believe this shit, come on, come on now. Here's the James Webb over there and this is the Hubbles. Just, you know, happens to be the same place in space. And we have another image in the same place in space from a completely different location. And I keep mentioning the same place in space. Here's another photo, the same place in space or image. It's an image, but you know, it's a photo from the telescope. How, if we're spinning, orbiting and shooting through space, are we able to get a photo of the same places, the same angles, the same exact layout? How are we able to get all these different photos or images from different times? They would need to be on the anniversary day. 
because if we're shooting through space and we make our rounds every year, you would need to get these images from the same day. You couldn't take an image in July and an image in October and have it be the same place if we're moving through space. That just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Do I think they're possibly looking through telescopes and seeing something and capturing it and making these images out of what they capture? Totally. They very well could be. Like the opposite of looking at our skin and seeing all the little bugs. We look in the sky and we can see all the frequencies. 